Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the wedding ceremony of Rondell Durham and Crystal Braun. Now let's move forward. I want to I want to have our opening prayer. If you'll bow with me in the opening prayer. God, as you join us this day, we want to thank you for this love affair that has brought us together, for this couple that you are about to unite. Let all their days together be happy days. Let all their words be sweet. Though their paths are intertwined now, let them be aware of each other's separateness so that they can be aware of the strength of unity. So Lord, remind them to nurture each other every day. Thank you for these family and friends and those who are gathered to share in this joy stay with us. A day of love. We thank you now, God, in Jesus' blessed name. Amen. Amen. You may be seated. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today in the front of God and this company to join this man and this woman in the estate of holy matrimony. It is an honorable estate and it has been despised by St. Paul and Jesus at the wedding of Cana and Galilee that this is a union between and represents the union between Christ and his church. The union of a husband and wife is for mutual joy. And now there is a word from the Lord that shares with the parameters of unconditional love that goes with this love affair. If you will, those that will follow me, I'm going to 1 Corinthians chapter 13. And I'm reading from the New King James Version. Though I speak with tongues of men and of angels, but have not love. I have become sounding brass and a clanging cymbal. Though I have the gift of prophecy and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, though I have all faith so that I can remove mountains, but have not love, I am nothing. Though I bestow all my goods to feed the poor, and though I give my body to be burned, but have not love, it profits me nothing. Love suffers long and is kind. Love does not envy Love does not parade itself. Love is not puffed up. Does not behave itself rudely. Does not seek its own interests. Is not provoked. Thinks no evil. Does not rejoice in iniquity, but rejoices in truth. Love bears all things. Believes all things. Hopes all things. Endures all things. Love never fails. A lasting marriage needs this kind of love. We thank God for the reading of his word. Into this union come Crystal and Rondell now to be joined. If any man can show just cause as to why these two may not lawfully be together, speak now or else hereafter hold your peace. <coughs> Rondell, Crystal, I charge and require you both at the day when God shall appear. If you know of any impediment why you cannot be lawfully married, Please speak it now or know that this union is not approved not only by the state of New Jersey, but by the word of God. Amen. <clears throat> Rondell, will you have this woman to be your wedded wife? To live together with her in the covenant of marriage? Will you love her, comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health? and forsaking all others, be faithful unto her as long as you both shall live. You may answer. I will. Crystal, will you have this man to be your wedded husband, to live together in the covenant of God's marriage? Will you love him, comfort him, honor him, keep him in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, be faithful unto him so long as you both shall live, you may answer. Who gives this woman to be married to this man? I do. Let's pray. Will you bow with me, please? Father God, again, we thank you for this union. We thank you for the pledges that were just made. And Lord, we ask that you would bless them as they're about to make their vows. That you would give them not only in the heart, Lord, that this union was created before the foundation of the world. 
And that their love is not an accident. And to stay in love is not going to be an accident. Love is so fragile that it can be turned to hate if not cherished. So I ask God that you would bless them with the right words to say. That they would be there for each other. That the vows they're about to make are made from their heart to the one they love. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. I run out there. I run out there. Take you crystal broad. Take you crystal broad. To be my wife. To be my wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. For richer or poorer. For richer or for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Until, until we are parted by death. This is, this is my solemn vow. My solemn vow. I, Crystal Broadman. I, Crystal Broadman. Take you, my elder. Take you, my elder. To be my husband. To, to have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better or for worse. For richer or for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish until we are parted by death. This is my solemn vow. Can I have the rings, please? These rings may look like they are just jewelry, but this is a sign or covenant of their marriage. As you'll notice, as God made the sign of the covenant with Noah after he destroyed the world by water, the covenant was the rainbow. Well, the covenant of this marriage is this ring. Although it looks mute, it speaks loudly. The rings are supposed to remind us who we belong to. Every time Rondell looks at his ring, he'll remember that he's married to Crystal. Every time Crystal looks at her ring, she'll remember that she's not alone in the world. These rings are circular, not to be entered in by outside forces, but they represent the family circle. A love that will stay together is a love that will lean on each other. Will you bow with me as we bless these rings? <coughs> Father God, we thank you for the covenant of this ring. Though they be mute now, they will speak loudly in their lives. But sometimes life may get dark. May this ring lighten up their day. Sometimes life may be hard. May this ring remind them, but I'm not alone. I have someone to share in this burden. I thank you, God, that this ring will remind them not only how they talk to each other, how they treat one another, but it will say that we, too, are now one. Thank you for this ring, God. In Jesus' name we pray. Bless the wearers. Amen. Amen. <laughs> With this ring, With this ring I, be wed, I be wed in the name of the Father, in the name of the Father and, the Son, and the Son and the Holy Ghost. With this, ring, With this ring, I pledge my love, I pledge my love. and I wed thee, and I wed thee, I wed thee. In, the in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Ghost.
this couple has decided, as the Bible says in Genesis chapter 2, to let you understand the symbolic symbol of their union, that they were two people and now they're becoming one. So will you join us over at the communion table? The Bible says, For this cause shall a man leave his mother and father and cleave unto the wife that he has chosen, and the two shall be no longer two flesh but one. Right now, the outside candles symbolize their lives before they got married. Lit, and lit. The light represents their parents and the homes they came from respectively. But now they're going to light this center candle together, representing that they will never be parted. <coughs> Let's give God a praise for the lighting of the candle. I'm going to ask that the bridesmaids slide over this side a little bit so everyone can see them as they take their feet. You can stay right there. You stay. Everybody else come this way. Just they also have decided that they want the world to know that marriage is a man and a woman and Christ. They want to invite Christ while their friends are looking into their marriage. One of the only ordinances that God left us when he left this side was that of Holy Communion and Baptism. And now they're going to receive communion, not collectively in a congregation, but singly in their heart, inviting Christ to be a part of their marriage. Amen. On the day that Jesus knew he had fulfilled the plan of redemption, hours before he gathered with his disciples in the upper room, and there he took bread, said, this represents my body, which shall be broken for your sins. Likewise, he took wine, which was the fruit of the vine, and said, this represents my blood. <coughs> Let's pray. Father God, I thank you for this communion of these hearts. I thank you, God, that by partaking of this communion, they're remembering you. That means that in times that they need, you will remember them. I ask that you bless them now with a strong matrimony and be a part of their union. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 And then he took his body, held it to heaven, and to his disciples he said, let us eat together. Again, he looked at his disciples and said, let us drink together. This marriage has been strengthened by the presence of God. Let's give God another hand of praise. These witnesses have gathered today to represent those who love this couple, family and friends. Seeing that Rondell and Crystal has decided by the plan of God to make their union not only legal, but make it eternal. Seeing that they have done this by pledging, by their vows, by the giving and receiving of a ring, by their communing, and by their lighting their candle of unity. I declare now by the power of the state of New Jersey and everyone standing here that you are now husband and wife. This time, as is, as is tradition, Rondell will softly lift the veil and salute his bride. I only said one kiss, I only said one. I know, Chris, I'd like to pronounce a blessing over you. That this just not be a ceremony. It was a day you were waiting for. Make it last. Don't let the enemy get in. Don't let anything tear you apart. Love one another. 
strengthen one another. Be your, this is your man, this is your woman, and that's that. Amen. Will you stand with me and join me for a word of benediction? And we're going to ask you after we're going to let the bride and the party receive. Then we're going to go row by row in an orderly fashion. I thank you for your kindness. You've been a great set of friends and family. Be able to share this beautiful day with Krista and Rondell. Let's look to the Lord. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. Rest, rule, and abide with us now, henceforth, and forevermore. In the name of Jesus we pray. Amen. I give you Mr. and Mrs. Rondell Girl. They up here kiss it again, y'all come on. <laughs> amen, amen. Amen. Yeah. What a wonderful day, so amazing.